Let's face it, if you didn't have me to tell you your dork news every week, you wouldn't have a thing to talk about to your work colleagues or friends. I won't toot my own horn too much. You guys do have Ebola to talk about. Isis, the weather, and the voice. I forgot all about those. It's October 17th, I'm Daria, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> Let's start today off with what? What? Snapchat, the photo sharing app where you could expose yourself if you wanted to because that photo would disappear after it's viewed. Those things don't always disappear, folks. But one way to permanently destroy a photo is this silly new invention. The machine coats its printouts with glycerol and potassium salt, triggering an exothermic reaction that makes the photo spontaneously combust after printing. <laughs> I'm all, why did someone make this? I wanna make fun of it more, cause that's how I have fun. But actually it's kinda cool. This is an art project signifying today's NSA surveillance versus Cold War spy fiction, which is why you see a bunch of Cold War photos spewing out of this thing. How about a 3D printed chair that will mold to your butt? Now this is for me, the queen of sitting, the sitter, the chair lover. Really, if you think about it, any chair that is 3D printed is going to be so uncomfortable that it pretty much is unsittable. Therefore, it would have to be made out of a butt morphing seat. There's so much more information about how this Dutch lady actually made this chair and the prototype she went through to make it work as a cushion design. But really, it's a morphing chair and that's all you need to know. Molds to your butt. Finally, news in the world of Minecraft. One, there's going to be a Minecraft movie and the guy who directed Night at the Museum, Sean Levy, is going to direct it. Weird thing about a movie being made about a game that doesn't have a plot is they made a Lego movie and that worked out perfectly amazing. So never mind. And check this out. A German Minecraft player has built a working version of an iPhone inside of the game. I had heard of a working computer being made in Minecraft before, but iPhone? You even do a running slide across the phone to unlock it. So what do you call a German Minecraft player? I know. I'm so incredibly creative for finding that on the internet. So this week I wrote about this new tiny Wi-Fi router called Anonabox that claims it can anonymize all your internet traffic through the Tor network. And then bam, apparently this thing is a scam. This thing raised $300,000 on Kickstarter in two days with its original goal only $7,500 and now has raised over $600,000 but its story is falling apart because the creator, August Germar, apparently didn't even invent an Autobox or any of its components. It's an off the shelf router from China, made in China, and any developer can unlock its back end with the password developer. Germar even states on his Kickstarter page that he designed a simple minimalist case in plain white to house the Anonobox's inner workings, but no bro. You bought that thing from China. Here's a privacy device that so far isn't BS, called the Wedge. It works like Google Drive or Dropbox, but instead of the so vulnerable cloud, which entrusts on mysterious servers out there, it works by being off cloud. I'm holding him for support. By using a 512-bit encryption, Wedge is a self-hosted email that keeps you away from the threats of the defenseless cloud storage system. It does this with embedded passwords, two-factor authentication, and built-in key management that comes with each sent file. Maybe it's time to put them away. Yeah, time to put them away. Okay. So it's an email server, a wireless syncing and sharing system, and it also streams media to smart devices. Stay smart though, yourself. These kinds of products that promise protection are only as safe as the company is, so do your research. Anybody can be in bed with the NSA. This 3D printed prosthetic hand should be called the Iron Man hand. 
That's not even funny. I mean, look at it. It's the Iron Man hand. It's got voice control and laser beam, laser beam like capabilities. The hand was made to raise kids' self esteem to superhero levels. I think it's so cool kids get to have superheroes to look up to. You know, kids only, you know? I mean, I don't adore Batman or pretend I'm Superwoman. I didn't cry when Wolverine <laughs> died. <laughs> The hand comes with Bluetooth, a battery, USB, and runs Arduino. And that laser beam capability, that's actually LED lights that beam when you tilt your hand. We gotta give it up to 3D printed prosthetics. I mean, these things actually cost thousands of dollars, but when 3D printed, that completely changes. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out partspeople.com for more tech news that I don't have time to talk about, but I write about, so you should read my writing because I'm not bad. And also, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank <laughs> you.